In today's video, I'm excited to show you how to securely access resources on your home network without punching holes in the firewall, exposing your public IP, without using zero tier or a VPN. We are in fact going to use Cloudflare tunnels and it's a free service from Cloudflare. So if you're interested in seeing how it's done, then stick around for this video. You'll need a few things to get started. One, you need a registered domain name, a free account from Cloudflare, which you can go to cloudflare.com to sign up for a free account and a computer on your network to install the Cloudflare connector. So you might be asking yourself at this point, how does this all work? Well, let's look at this diagram and I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. Here we have a remote computer out on the internet and here we have our local network. You can see I have a Synology as a local host and I also have a computer as a local host. This computer happens to be running a small program that's called the Cloudflare connector that is linking your local network to the Cloudflare edge. That said, the remote computer makes an HTTP or HTTPS request to access the Synology local host on your network. That traffic is then negotiated through the secure tunnel that is set up between that computer that's running on your local network and Cloudflare, and then directs that traffic to the local host. Never having to expose the public IP, no need for zero tier, no need for a VPN. It's all done through secure outbound connections. I'm not gonna say any more than that. If you wanna learn more, you can go to cloudflare.com and read the documentation. Okay, so I'm signed into my free Cloudflare account. And if you haven't already created your free account, go ahead and do so, get logged in, and it should bring you right to this page. The next step would be to purchase your domain name. Now, you could purchase a domain name for about $12 a year from anywhere that you want. You could purchase one here through Cloudflare. You could use Google, you could use GoDaddy, you could use Wix, whatever flavor suits your boat, that's what you should do. I already own a domain name that I'm gonna use for this demonstration through GoDaddy. So the next step after you purchase your domain name from wherever you purchased it from, you'll come back to this screen, make sure you're clicked on websites under Cloudflare and you're gonna come over and hit add site. Here we're going to enter the domain name that was purchased. So for me, it's qthomelab.com. We'll type that in. You'll type in your domain name here and we're going to go ahead and click on add site. Now that the site's been added, you have to pick a tier. Now don't get nervous. There is a free tier at the bottom of the page. Just scroll down, select on free, and then click on continue. If this is your first time using Cloudflare, you may be prompted to add a credit card. Now don't get alarmed. It is free. If you select the free tier, you will have to go through the checkout process, but the charge will be zero and you will never be charged for anything unless you designate a purchase. So again, if this is the first time using Cloudflare, you may be prompted to put in your credit card. Don't get nervous. They just like to keep a card on file. The next step would be to add the Cloudflare name servers to your DNS provider. So let's scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on continue. Here you can see that Cloudflare is directing us to remove these name servers and add their own. So I need to remove these from GoDaddy and add these. You would remove whatever name servers your DNS provider gives you to add the Cloudflare name servers. So let me click on the first one and I'll jump over to GoDaddy, and here is my homelab.com. We're gonna come down to where the name servers are and click on change. And we're gonna say, enter my own name servers, and we're gonna just paste name server one here, and we'll jump back over to Cloudflare and copy the second name server, jump back over to GoDaddy, and paste it here. Again, you would be doing this wherever you manage your public DNS. Let's go ahead and click on save. And yes, I consent to update the name servers for the selected domains, and I'm going to click on continue. And now let's go down and click on done and check name servers. And let's come down here and click on name servers. And it says Cloudflare is checking name servers for QT Home Lab. Please wait a few hours for an update. Well, it could take a few hours, sometimes 24 to 48 hours, but when I tested this earlier, it literally took about five minutes and everything was updated. So we're gonna come back after about five minutes and see if we can continue, so stick around. 
Okay, so the name servers are updated. That took about three minutes, didn't take long at all. You can see here it says, great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. While we're on this screen, let's just go over to the left menu as a sidebar. Let's click on SSL TLS and come down to Edge Certificates. What you wanna do is make sure that you have always use HTTPS, the redirect enabled, just a little sidebar. So the next step is to create the actual tunnel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to access on the left side. We're going to click on launch zero trust. Then we'll come back over to the left pane. We're gonna click the drop down for access and select tunnels. And here we're gonna create our first tunnel by clicking on the blue create a tunnel link. Let's give the tunnel a name. I'm just gonna call it home because I know I wanna remote into my home. You can name it whatever you see fit here. Let's go ahead and click on save tunnel. And here we have to choose an environment. So this is where I said earlier in the video, you need three things. You need a domain, you need a free Cloudflare account, and you need to have a computer that could run Cloudflare to install Cloudflare on. So your choices of flavors are Windows, Mac, Debian, Red Hat, or Docker. I am running a virtual machine Ubuntu server, so I'm gonna select Debian. I'm gonna come over here. I do not have Cloudflare installed on my machine. If I did, I would select this command here, but since I don't have it installed, I'm gonna select and grab this curl command, copy it, and now let me bring up my terminal window so you can watch the process. I'm already signed in as root to my Cloudflare server, so let's go ahead and paste that code and hit return. It should go out, unpack and install Cloudflare and we should see when it's done, a connector appear here at the bottom. Okay, so it says here, Linux service for Cloudflare installed successfully. And then you can see here, it has the connector and I do have my IP address blurred out. So now that Cloudflare is installed and up and running, the next part of the equation is to add the host or hosts to Cloudflare that you wish to access remotely. For this example, I'm gonna add my Synology DS216 plus two. So under subdomain here on the public host name page, I'm gonna call this NAS. Under domain, I'm gonna select the QT Home Lab that I created earlier. And then under service type, I'm gonna select HTTPS. And under URL, this is where you put the private IP address and the port information of the host. So we're gonna say 192.168.25.60, port 5001. And before we say, we're gonna come down to additional application settings and under TLS, we're going to enable where it says no TLS verify and click on save. Okay, so now that we have our first host added, we should be able to access this host from outside of our home network. Okay, so for the moment of truth, now that we've added the host, the DS216 plus two, we're going to see if we can access it remotely from a computer that is not on my home network. I'm using my laptop and if I come up to the Wi-Fi network connection, you can see that I am connected to my phone's personal hotspot, not on my home network. So we're gonna just go ahead and enter nas.qthomelab.com and hopefully if all goes well it'll take us to the Synology DS216 DSM login page. Okay, so there you go. You see I was able to get the Cloudflare tunnel up and running. I was able to access my Synology NAS remotely. Yes, there are quite a few steps involved, but if you follow this video verbatim, you should be able to get it up and running as I did. Now, a couple of things I'd like to point out. One, you can add multiple hosts or resources to a single uh, Cloudflare tunnel. That said, if I wanted to add a second NAS or a third NAS or a web server, I can go ahead and do that. Number two, this is a great solution for file sharing, although there is one major caveat that you have to keep in mind. There is a 100 meg upload file size limit. So anything over 100 meg, you're not gonna be able to upload. That is remotely. If you're local, you could upload file of any size. 
There is no download limit. So if you're sharing out, if you're working for somebody and you got to get files out to somebody, you can upload them locally, share that URL with them, and they'll be able to download the file. No limit on the download side. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. In the next video, I'm probably going to show you how to restrict access to that URL and also how to use the Synology login portal. So we're not just going uh, to the DSM login page, but maybe to a specific application like the file section. If you liked the video, like I said earlier, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.